1996 Toyota Sleeker GT, 2 litre petrol on the 5 speed manual. So it's a 2 owner from new car. The current keeper and owner of this vehicle has owned this car since 1997. It's a 96 car. So two owners in total, which is a really nice sort of story behind it. Clearly, that's a long term ownership for a car. We can't keep cars past six months, never mind that sort of time. But here we go. Like I say, two owners from new in black with a lovely little interior. I've never seen one with a with a cream interior before. They're normally cloth, it's got leather. So body width wise down the bonnet, lovely and straight down the bonnet there. There is some surface scratches in the paint. With it being black, you can't see that. If that was mine, I'd be running over with a hand polish just to square those away. Just where it's been washed over the years. And with it being a black car, you do notice them. Headlights are crystal clear on both sides. A handful of stone chips across the front end there. But that's all you're going to really find fault with. None of the lights are cracked or anything like that. Split is all nice and intact. There's no bit missing or hanging off there. All nice and straight and tidy. As you'd expect a car that's had such low owners. It's obviously been cared for. A little bit of service right on the bottom corner there. You've got to be on your knees to notice that. As I come round the arch, you'll see no other corrosion coming through. Lovely and straight and tidy. And like I said, I'm not going to keep repeating myself. It has got some light swirl marks in it and the odd light surface scratch on the panels. Wing rear cap is crack free on both sides. A few little scratches. Around the handle's good. And the back edge of the door there. One or two little chips, but not bad or two. And I did notice a couple of have little spotted parking dings down this right hand side the worst one being there on the rear quarter and one or two slightly heavier scratches there as you come around the arch it's good at the front paints a little bit flat as we come further around on the rear quarter a bit of haze there and some corrosion coming through with a scuff towards the rear of the quarter on the right hand side up and across the sunroof all nice and tidy and straight a little bit of a bird poo mark at the back of the sunroof there, but no corrosion on the roof anywhere like that. As you come down the rear quarter, like I say, a bit of haze to the paint up the top and onto the quarter, a little bit on the spoiler in the boot. But the corner's nice and tidy. And the same again on the left hand side, all nice and straight and tidy there. Across the back end, lights are all nice and clean and straight. No delamination or moisture to the lights. The spoiler's good as well. A little bit of fade there at the spoiler, but not bad at all. As they come round and down that left hand side, around the fuel for the cap's good. The rear arch is all nice and straight and tidy. You've got a little stone chip dent there, a slightly heavier scratch. And as you come forward, three little scuffs there. One, two, and three, just on the top of the paintwork. Again, a good polish would see some of that away, I'd like to think. Around the handle's good. Back edge of the door's all okay. Lower half nice and tidy. Again, a few little parking things down this side. Two worse ones sort of further back there. And a little stone chip down the right, uh, left hand side, sorry, but that's all you can really complain about. Again, wing wear caps crack free. And the front wing, a little bit of rust in the same place as the right hand side, but the rest of it, a little stone chip bit there, is all nice and tidy and level down the left hand side with a little, little fade there on the front of the wing. Onto the interior now. Got the cream leather. Door card itself, nice and tidy. Black carpet set, some wear to the driver's seat, which you can quite obviously see there. The stitching's come away, we've got two splits in the seat, and again, the lower half of the swab there, two nicks there, another one there, and again, some heavier cracking to the front section of the seat. Steering wheel's good, dashboard's all nice and straight and tidy, no splits or cracks to the dashboard, headlining is good as well, rear seats are in lovely order there, no rips or tears. That rough leather is really nice in the rear. No nastiness there at all. Into the boot now. I think I need the key for that, don't I? There we go, James has pulled the lever. Lovely big boot. Six stack JC, JVC there, all nice and tidy. Parcel shelves are all intact as well. And then onto that left hand side front door again, lovely and tidy on the door card. Black carpet set's good, dashboard's lovely, minimal wear to the passenger seat, no rip splits or tears, it would definitely be worth getting that driver's one re-trimmed because the rest of it's so nice. And again, lovely and straight and tidy on the rear seats, both seats folding forward as they should. Into the engine bay now, two litre twin cam petrol. James is going to fire it up for us. Straight into life without hesitation. No nasty rattles or knocks or bangs. 
And there you have it, the 96 Toyota Sneaker GT, two litre petrol, two owners from new, current key is 1997 on that one there.